Today we're learning how to make this beautiful animated infographic chart in PowerPoint all the way from scratch, including the icons and the animations that we see. Let's start from a blank slide and we're going to change the background to something beige gradient. So we go for gradient fill and then we're choosing a light beige at the top of the slide. And then for the bottom of the slide, we're choosing a little bit of a darker tint beige that gives us a nice transition. Next, we want to start create the shape of the leaves. For that, we go to the shapes option and we choose this shape here. So almost a rectangle with two rounded corners. Hold shift while you drag the shape on the screen and this will give you a nice shape. We can hold the corners to increase the roundness and that will give us some sort of a leaf shape that we're going to use. Remove the outline and add a green fill on the leaf. Right click format shape because we're also going to add the gradient fill. And for that, we want the light green transitioning towards a little bit of a darker green. For the angle, we want to have it from the bottom to the top. Maybe let's try this one. That looks better than from the center. It transitions to the right and it becomes lighter. Next, we want to add a few details to that leaf. And for that, we're going to add some lines. So draw a line on the page. We're going to give it a green color and we're going to create some copies in a little bit of an angle. Copy that a few more times and then also do the same for the other side. You can select them all at the same time, rotate, flip horizontally, align, align to a right, and then just match them up on the, the central line. Group them together, right click group or hold Ctrl G, turn them and then you can place them on the leaf. Play around a little bit with the colors. Maybe let's try a gradient where we go to a darker green and let's pick one other color of green until it looks nice. We can add some transparency on the green to make it look a little bit more realistic and then it blends in with the leaf. Once we're happy, we select both. We right click and we group or control G. And then we're going to create duplicates. Hold control and shift to drag an object and create a copy. And then we're going to position them below each other. We're going to reduce the size of each time, of the leaf each time. So we have about three levels, the largest one on top. Now let's add the middle part of the leaf. For that, we're going to use a almost rectangle. It's not exactly the rectangle shape, but the one that goes um, smaller towards the top. So you can adjust it here. And for that, we positioned in the middle of the slide. Once we're happy with the position, we copy the leaves, hold control and drag them towards the left. And then let's flip them first, rotate, flip horizontally and align to the right. And then position them on the same side of the branch. There we go. And a little bit more towards the right. This looks good. For the branch, we of course want to remove the outline as well and give it a darker brown color. That looks good. This leaf on the side, we just keep it if we need any other duplicates. That's always easy. Let's create a duplicate once more, rotate it so it goes up straight and then position it at the top of your design that you've made. There we go. It's now a little bit too big, so let's group everything together. Then we can scale it down at once so it fits the slide nicely and position it in the middle. Right click and ungroup again if you want to have the individual slides. We don't need this shape anymore. And now we're going to add another, some of the details. Let's do a circle. We don't hold shift because we don't want a perfect circle. We want a very wide oval shape. And there we go. Let's remove the outline and add a brown tint. So it's the same as the branch that we've made. Select the leaves, position them downward so they nicely connect. And then let's maybe add a few details on the slide. So copy that oval, copy that once more to the side. Again, it's representing sand, so it doesn't have to be very smooth. It can be different heaps of sand. Group the entire thing together, the leaves and hold control while you drag them to the side. Then you can add 
some smaller copies to the left and to the right of the slide. Next, we want to add some text. So let's add a text box. And for that, we're going to add a title. So let's start with 01 Lorem Ipsum. Change the font to, let's take Avenir next. And we're going for a bold font type, maybe also in the brown tint that will look, look nice. We also want to add a little bit of a dummy text below it. So let's add that. There we go and reduce the font size to about 12. That looks okay. Maybe everything a little bit smaller. That will look better and more balanced on the slide. Copy it and match it with the other leaves. You can shift it inwards, that's fine. And then do it one last time. So we have this nice ladder effect next to the leaves. Let's also change the numbers and then create some copies on the right side. Align everything to the right and then space them around the same size or the same distance as the leaves. And for the third one, we do the same. And it's always nice if you connect it with the top of the leaf, then everything looks quite balanced and leaves some room on top for a title. Let's say in this case we want um, six different types. So if one, two, three, let's make this four, five and six. That gives us quite some room for content on the slide. Now we have to add a title. So let's type in your on the right font of near next. And we're going for a heavy font, heavy brown and font size. Maybe let's try 50 and then align it to the right. Maybe even go for the bold or the heavy. That will look better. Yeah. Drag it to the right while holding control, align to the left, and then change the word here to whatever you want to change the title to, a little bit bolder, a little bit bigger. And there we have a nice slide. Now let's preview, see what it looks like. And this already looks quite nice, a little bit infographic style. Of course, we also can animate this slide. So let's have a look at adding some animations to this page. For that, let's duplicate the slide and we're going to animate the text on the left. Animations fly in effect from the left. So change the direction from left flies in. And let's do the same for the text on the right fly in effect. But this case we come from the right. Open up the animation pane if you want to change the durations, effect options, timing. Let's have a smooth end, doesn't have to bounce. And about one second, that will be better. I'm also going to add a short delay on the second and third point. So let's put 0.2 and 0.4. So there's a small short delay. And then we're going to do the same for number four. So that happens when we click. And then we're going to change the timing so to one second. And then also change the duration or the delay. Let's add 0.2 seconds and then also 0.4 on the last one. Let's have a preview of what that looks like. So we have first three flying in and then the second three flying in on the click. We can also animate the leaves themselves. So we can have a fly in effect from the bottom about one second. And then if you want, you can add a delay if needed. But I'm just going to not do this on click, but with previous and then um, 0.4 seconds and let's do this 0.6 seconds. Make sure that the ground or whatever we recreated the ground for, let's bring that to the front so that the leaves pop up from behind. Now let's preview. And on the first click, this should give us a text on the left. On the second click, we get the text on the right together with the leaves. And now you know how to create this beautiful infographic style presentation in PowerPoint and animate it all the way from scratch.